So what is going on guys welcome to the YouTube channel in today's video I'm going to be breaking down my strategy my plan on how I'm going to make over a hundred thousand dollars this year in 2021 as a college dropout how could I be successful if I didn't go to college well today I'm gonna to reveal everything that I have in mind as well as how I'm gonna make this happen this year don't go anywhere let's get it so you might be asking me Peter how are you gonna make over a hundred thousand dollars this year without a college degree don't you need a college degree well personally i have a game plan a strategy on how i'm going to make this happen now for me dropping out of college i was at university of maryland business school my friends and family thought this was the best opportunity for me but i left college i left this ideal situation to pursue my dreams as an entrepreneur to tackle the businesses that i've always wanted to start as well as continue to grow the businesses that i've been working on in college in a second i'll break down my income as well as my plans to continue to scale the businesses that I I have as well as talk about new sources of income that I'm incorporating in my life but more importantly this game plan this action plan is important to get down on paper you are 42% more likely to achieve the goals if you write them down on paper so that's exactly what I did guys so don't get away I'm gonna break down exactly my strategy my game plan to make over a hundred thousand dollars this year without a college degree so guys getting into this video I just want to say that here is a quick little video if you want to check it out of my five sources of income at age 21 now dropping out of college could be huge but what gave me the confidence to make this decision was that I had businesses that I was working on I had the opportunity to scale businesses and to make money on my own so I knew that I wasn't just dropping out for no reason now I want to jump into how I plan to get over a hundred thousand dollars this year and it mainly relates to my strategy to grow the business that I have as well as incorporate new income sources into my life right now I'm working on these new income sources which I'll reveal in a second as well as how I'm gonna scale and make money with this game plan so the first thing that I wanted to jump into is my first main source of income that I started in high school which I talk about pretty often is my lawn and landscaping business right now that business is producing me around four to six thousand dollars a month when we are in full season the spring summer fall but right now we're in the middle of winter so the income has definitely changed but truthfully this decision of dropping out allows me to focus directly on my number one main source of income when I've been running this businesses when I've been running a crew and growing my lawn and landscaping business I've never been fully into it I've always worked part-time because I had other obligations soccer school friends but now that I've dropped out of college I can fully drop in on this business Steve Jobs refers to this he says if I never dropped out of college I would have never dropped in on the things that actually changed my life and for me this is a main source of income I don't know personally which I'll share in a second if this is my main source of income that I want to have the rest of my life but what I want to do in these next two to three years and especially this year is to grow this business to around six to eight thousand dollars of personal income from this business every month now I know this is something I can do I know that I can scale this business instantly I have the customers lined up but personally for me I didn't have the time to achieve this so this is my first number one priority is to grow my lawn and landscaping business to make six to eight thousand dollars a month the second way I plan to make this happen is to drive income from social media right now I'm super passionate about building this brand on social media both through TikTok and YouTube and finding ways to not only monetize certain channels but as well as create back-end income through affiliate marketing and brand deals now I'm gonna break down exactly what I have in mind but first I want to break down my TikTok account right now we're sending over 150,000 TikTok followers and I've already seen the opportunity to make a lot of money now personally for me the creator fund is making me around a hundred to two hundred dollars a month just posting videos on TikTok but secondly more importantly is the ability to grow this my goal in 2021 is to take this account from 150,000 followers to a little over a million followers secondly is to scale this TikTok to get the opportunity to make brand deals now you can make anywhere from two hundred to twenty thousand dollars on TikTok brand deals. Personally, for me, I've been reached out to make around five hundred dollars for certain shoutouts and promoting content on my TikTok, but I'm just not yet ready to do that. And third is to grow a YouTube channel. I feel like right now in 2021, this is an opportunity to take advantage of social media. So many people are making great money on YouTube, and some of the people that I look up to on YouTube are making over a hundred thousand dollars personally with their pages. So my strategy is to do exactly like this. Now this is like a full time job. People don't understand it takes so much time to edit to post to get all these videos out there so there's a lot of work involved 8 to 12 to 15 hours sometimes even a day just posting a single YouTube video and I'm willing to put the grunt in and I plan to use this as a way to make money on the internet for me personally I have a goal of hitting over 50,000 followers this year on YouTube so if you have not yet subscribed that would mean a lot but also combined there's the opportunity to build brand deals as well as getting paid for your views as well like any social media platform 
for me personally i hope to grow a small channel with a high cpm which means i don't need a lot of viewers to grow my youtube channel or to make money because i'll have a higher cpm which means less viewers but a lot more dollars behind those views is a very strategic way to make me money off my youtube channel so with my tiktok strategy and my youtube strategy personally off the channels alone i plan to make 20 to forty thousand dollars this year in 2021 now i have some proof i'm continuing to grow my tiktok creator fund i am not yet monetized on youtube but i feel like my consistency my efforts will make this happen so the third new income source that i want to incorporate in my life in 2021 is through the back end of my personal brand building this youtube building this tiktok is very strategic because now i have the opportunity to monetize people on the back end not saying i'm directly trying to drive sales but through affiliate marketing the great thing about affiliate marketing is that it's a great way to make passive income so personally for me my goal is to make a thousand dollars with affiliate marketing a month now this is a small goal but i feel like it'd be a great way to make money without having to do much work and the truth is about affiliate marketing i'm doing a little bit right now which is making me some type of money is through a personal robin hood investing account so i use robin hood i refer people to robin hood i get paid free stocks which is basically free money now i don't personally sell robin hood or try to get people to convert and buy things on Robinhood. All I'm really doing is trying to get consumers that follow me to use a product or certain type of service that I recommend, and then I will be getting paid an affiliate commission. So the fourth way is investing in the stock market. Currently right now, I have a little under $40,000 invested in the stock market. Now for me at 21, I am very grateful for every dollar that I've invested in the stock market. But more importantly, I was up over 100% this year investing in the stock market, which has led to me making around $20,000 investing in the stock market. Now that's pretty incredible. I'm putting my money to use. I'm getting returns. So I'm very grateful that I invested in the stock market. But for me, this is a small Robinhood account. Right now, I'm only investing $100 a week. I just don't feel like that is enough. And I want to ramp up my investment. I have a lot of cash laying around, but I feel like cash is very vulnerable right now. I want to use this cash that I have laying around and to invest heavily into companies that I believe in. Now, personally for me, I'm a long-term investor. I've seen to get my greatest returns when I just invest over the long term. As Warren Buffett says, this is the best way to invest in the stock market. I am not a day trader. I plan to just invest for the long term and hold over time. So that's exactly what I've done. So for me, the biggest positions or the best time for me to invest in the stock market is gradually over time. But I seem to hold cash and to dump it in at the right time. For example, um, back when the coronavirus hit, I seem to dump a lot of money into the stock market, which has led to great returns as the stock market recovered as well as almost two to three years ago when I first began investing, I dumped a lot of money in when companies were at an all time low. So for me, I'm a very consistent investor, but I love to take advantage when stocks are at an all time low. So for me in this strategy in 2021 is to increase my investments per week to around two to $300 and to really take advantage of the next low. For me, I want to wait till this presidential election is kind of all taken care of when this is all over. I feel like there might be a recovery or a rebound in the stock market, which means that I'm going to take full advantage of this. And I hope to dump a lot of money into certain companies that I believe in, as well as use this time, use this low in the market to really grow my wealth in the future. So I hope with this year, I hope to make another 10 to 20 grand investing in the stock market and continue to grow my positions and to make money investing in stocks. And lastly, I want to make sure that all my dollars are being invested in this. And that is investing my money that I've been working for. That I'm continuing to make all these different sources of income that I can put this money to work and invest in assets. Now, assets can be anything that make you more wealth or help you create new opportunities in your life. And that's exactly what I want to do with the dollars that I earn from these businesses. I think that it's great to have money coming in. Having income in my life is important, but I want to make sure that I'm using this income to produce more income in my life. Now, as my income goes up for me grinding on new businesses working on the current business that i have as well as creating new sources of income i want to make sure that my lifestyle does not increase i don't need to spend money on new shoes new jewelry to show people that i am successful i want to use this money to invest in assets like i referred to earlier investing in the stock market maybe even buying new equipment for my lawn and landscaping business which i know i need to do or invest into a house what i'm really interested in buying in 2021 now for me i currently live with my parents which has a lot of opportunities a lot of ups and downs but i think this this year is the time for me to move out. This is the time for me to go off on my own and buying a property is very important for me. So when I want to purchase this house, I want to make sure that I can live rent free. And that is through house hacking. I plan to be the guy in my friend group that buys the first house first, not only from a competition standpoint, but as well as I want to move my friends into my house so they can pay me for
for my mortgage. They can pay me to live in my own house as well as making some positive cash flow off of them living in my house. So that's a few things that I want to do. But more importantly, in 2021, I want to make sure that I'm spending my money on assets. Assets are the key to my financial future. I am thinking long term. I'm thinking about growing wealth in my life. I'm thinking about changing my financial future through investing in assets. So I know I'm doing a lot of things right. I want to make sure that I can get this income in this year as well as put my money to work, which will grow me more money to allow me to live the dream life that I've always wanted to have. So guys, thank you for tuning in. If you have not yet subscribed, commented, or even left me some type of feedback, it would mean a lot to me. Also guys, I'm grateful to share my story about dropping out, trying to pursue new goals, but I think more importantly, I want to stay true to my word. So what I've decided to do is to hold myself accountable. I'm posting this video because I want to see if I can make this happen. I have a plan. I wrote this down. I know I can achieve it. And more importantly, I want you guys to hold me accountable. So by the end of this year, I will give you guys a review, give you a breakdown on if I made it happen. But I know that I believe in myself. I know I can do it. And I need your guys' help. So guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys go out there to achieve your goals, the things that you want to create or the things that you have in mind. Make sure you tackle them this year. Don't keep pushing them off. Have an amazing rest of the year. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Love you guys. Peace out.